Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Apple Pencil second generation and see if this particular Apple Pencil is still worth buying in 2024. Now, the big thing to keep in mind is that there's not really a successor to this particular device just yet. We did get the Apple Pencil USB Type-C model, but beyond that, we really don't have any other successors to this thing just yet, which personally for me is totally okay. I think that's totally fine. But when I take a look at these particular Apple Pencils, I will tell you in a lot of different ways, I generally don't know what Apple could end up doing to end up like making these things that much better. I definitely do think there's improvements Apple could make, but I do think for the vast majority of people, you're probably going to be okay if you buy this thing. And if the Apple Pencil third generation does end up coming out very soon, I think you're probably going to be okay if you keep this thing for just the duration of time and end up upgrading to the Apple Pencil 3, maybe like a year or two or three years from now. From the rumors I'm seeing, you know, there's not that many big crazy changes to be honest. But if you want to pick up the Apple Pencil 2, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now the big thing to keep in mind here is that for an actual Apple Pencil, like a, like a stylus that Apple makes, there's not too many alternatives. There's really the Apple Pencil 1, the 2, and then the USB Type-C model one. But there are other devices and styluses that you can always install inside of your device, which I do think is a nice touch. But beyond that, there's really not anything super crazy. And there's not really like too many alternatives you really have when it comes down to this particular device. Now, first of all, the exterior still looks pretty good. There's, like I said before, not that much to complain about here from the exterior side. On the, you know, there's a flat side to it, then there's a curved side to it. And this is totally okay, right? Like I've said before, when you're getting a device like this, you know that basically the design is going to be fairly, you know, it's going to be like a, like a pencil. That's what Apple's going for. So there's not really too much to really complain about here. It's just like, there's not even that much to talk about here. The only thing is, is at the bottom of this particular tip, it is a removable tip, which all Apple pencils are like this. It is very nice because, you know, over time, the bottom of this particular tip is going to carve out. It's going to have, you know, it's going to kind of engrave away. So it is nice that you actually have that type of capability here that you can just go through and just, you know, replace it if you want to. But there's also another cool thing going on for these Apple pencils. You can go through and double tap the bottom of our particular Apple pencil, and you can actually go through and essentially invoke different commands and different action buttons and so many things like that and that is actually another really cool thing going on for this particular you know stylus you can just go through double tap the bottom and i do think this in and of itself is another very cool thing going on for this you know particular apple pencil as well and once again if i'm going through picking up some sort of device i like the fact that this thing gives me that type of capability in and of itself and like i said that's a very cool thing going on here as well definitely not like the craziest thing in the world but it's nice that we have that that's something the other apple pencils are not giving you on top of that this thing seamlessly connects with your particular device. So you can easily just go through and basically just plug this thing on the top of your particular device and literally just jump straight into using this thing as you normally would. This is something that's a very cool for this particular device too and something I really like about my Apple Pencil because I can just go through, literally slide this thing at the very top of my device and have a, you know, essentially a very seamless experience of connecting it to my iPad. Now actually using it is a pretty good experience too. The big thing here, like I mentioned before, is that you can easily just go through and just plug this thing in, take it off, and just you know, do anything you really want to with this particular device. You can, you know, take notes, you can hover over notes, you can highlight things, you can draw. And this thing does have a pressure sensitivity and, you know, kind of feature inside of it. So you can just go ahead and just kind of press harder if you want to press harder, or press lighter if you don't really need that much pressure on it. And once again, I think that is another really cool feature going on for this particular Apple Pencil as well. So like I said, there's not really too many things to complain about here the only thing that you might be thinking about is that well the successor of this apple pencil may be ending you know may end up coming out very soon so is that a big enough reason to, you know for you to go and change to this particular apple pencil or change to a different one and in that case i'll be honest i think this is a very good apple pencil you know apple pencil in that particular case i like this device a lot and i do think like I, if i'm going through and buying an apple pencil this is a very very good option and i would highly recommend for you know I would highly recommend it for sure. It's not perfect, but I do think there's not that many def like, there's not many competitors to this thing that Apple makes. So it's either this one or the USB Type C Apple Pencil, and I think I'd probably just recommend buying this one. It's that good of a product. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Till then.